Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add links to tables inside of Looker Studio, which is quite a useful feature. So, this is a report that I've created myself uh, for my YouTube channel. It's uh, I've used the YouTube connector inside of Looker Studio, and I've created this table down the bottom here where it gives me a detailed breakdown of each video. And then I sort of come across a bit of a problem where, you know, if I wanted to have a look at this video, this specific video here, there was no quick way for me just to be able to click and open up that video. So basically what I needed to do was to add a hyperlink to the title of the video so I could just quickly click on it and go straight to that video. Now with the YouTube connector, it does give you a field for the link of the video. So I could have added another column here or another field with the, the link of the video, but obviously the links are long. Um, it, w it would have looked a bit strange here having the link in between the, uh, the title and all of this other information. So the obvious solution was to add a hyperlink to each video. So let's just take a look at how I did that. So if we go into edit mode of Looker Studio, we scroll down to this table. And then we look at the, uh, there's only one dimension in this table, um, which as you can see is the video title. And I've just um, put in brackets, click to view to make it uh, clear that, you know, you can click on it. But if we have a look at how I actually set this up by clicking on the uh, FX button here to the left, basically what you need is two things. You need the video link and then you need a label. Okay, so the function that you're going to use here is hyperlink and then open brackets. Then you put in the URL field first which in this particular case is video link, uh, which you can see here. And then the second part after the comma is the video title, which is uh, down here. So basically this is all it needs. And then once you've set this up, you can also put your uh, the name of the, the field up the top there, click apply. You should get the uh, the green check mark here to let you know that the formula is correct, and it will show a um, a link as the type of field up the top here. And then if we click on View to test this out, and let's just say we wanted to have a look at this video here, how to use date range controls in Looker Studio, it opens up that video straight away which is super useful. Now there is a, uh, a help doc of Google's that goes into a bit more detail about this. So there's actually three methods where you can add um, URLs inside of the reports. So there's the example one, create text links to product pages, which is basically the one that I just showed you, pretty straightforward. So hyperlink and then the URL field and then the label. Then there's example two, which is a bit more complicated, where you can build URLs using the concat method, which basically joins together fields. So it, it gives us a link, uh, sorry, an example down the bottom here. So once again, you're using hyperlink, then you're opening the brackets, and then you're using the concat function, then you're opening up the brackets again, and then you're putting in, uh, here it's got an example of a string, which is like the beginning of the URL. And then that joins it together with the SKU. And then it finishes off with .html at the end. So it joins those three different uh, parameters together. And then you finish off here with uh, the name of the uh, item at the end of it. And then you've got example three, which is for clickable images. So this is another thing that you can do as well. So in that particular case, you're using the hyperlink function again. Uh, and then you're using the 
URL field to begin with, and then comma, and then after that, you've got the uh, field for the product image. So it goes into a lot more detail about how to set this up in this in this doc. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, and, and it saves you a lot of time in your reports by being able to just click exactly on um, that particular item that you want to take a look at rather than having to manually open it up uh, some other method. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any more questions where you'd like me to create a video, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.